If you want, it's Emily Fox. Today's video is going to be a wear test review on the new Maybelline Sky High mascara. I feel like we've all seen the ads. It looks like an amazing mascara so far. Could not get my hands on it to save my life, but I have it now and I wanted to not only put it on, give you my first impressions, but also wear it all day long because even if a mascara looks amazing straight away, if it smudges or flakes, what's the point, right? So <laughs> I have no idea how this is going to work on my lashes, but from the packaging, it says that it's gonna give me limitless length and full volume, which that sounds exactly what I'm looking for. So we've all seen the packaging, it looks pretty. Oh, it's 3D. And this is what the brush, there you go. So this is what the brush looks like. It seems to be one of those flimsy one. I have a good feeling about it. I feel like the brush seems right up my alley. Short plastic bristles. Let's do this. So I'm gonna do one eye just to show you what it looks like before after. You know, my first first impression was that, oh, it's a little like more soft, like bendy than I would like to, but the formula seems to be really gripping my lashes. Oh, I'm very excited. <laughs> I've been testing a ton of mascaras lately because I'm preparing a second edition of testing a bunch of best-selling mascara at Sephora. I'll link the other one that I've done down below. I love doing these kind of videos. I've done drugstore a ton. I definitely am planning more. But I feel like I've tested a bunch of kind of meh mascara that, you know, it looks fine, but is it really worth $30? And um, straight away, this looks better than everything I've tested so far. <laughs> okay, full disclaimer, I applied a ton, but I really wanted to see how much I could build it up. And the answer is a lot. Uh, I feel like the formula really, really grips my lashes. There's not a ton on the brush, but that's a good thing. And I feel like um, considering the bristles are not super long, it could have been clumpy, but it doesn't look clumpy and um, very, very lengthening. Um, I do have pretty long lashes, but they're not curly whatsoever. You can see it. Um, but look at this. That's insane. So yeah, first impression, definitely very positive. And I believe this is my bad eye. In the sense, like my lashes don't look as good as the other side. Let me try the other one. We'll see full full look, but um, this is the best mascara I've tried in a really long time. <laughs> if it doesn't smudge or flake, obviously. You can definitely make it look more natural than I have done, but I do like that crazy intense look. And I wanted to test if it was going to flake and smudge, so you do need to apply a bit more. Cause that's what I would do normally. Okay, um, this is insane. Look at my lashes, this is insane. The only thing I can think of to improve the mascara, which I'm always trying to find something negative to say, is that I wish it was a little less bendy so I could really curl them a little bit more. I don't curl my lashes to do these videos because I want you to see what they look like without having to do that. So if I curl my lashes, they would look even more insane, but um, you, <laughs> you can't see, my mouth is open right now. Uh, I am shocked, like shocked. Okay, so let me look up for you. I, wow, um, straight up, wow. I did not even make that much of a mess. I usually am someone that tends to like have mascara everywhere, especially when I'm doing these videos because I really want to give you the full effect. But um, I, I, this is amazing. I. <laughs> Obviously, I'm gonna keep wearing it all day long. I'll update you at the end of the day, but um, if it doesn't smudge or flake, this is gonna be my new favorite mascara. Like I said, the only thing I could think of to make it a little bit better would be that it's a little less bendy so I can curl my lashes better. Maybe I could curl them or knowing myself what I would do would be to use a different brush to just push them a little bit more. Uh, but that's literally the only thing I can think of that isn't like, oh my God, right now. So uh, yeah, so far so good. I'll see you in a couple of hours. Okay, so I apologize for the lighting, but my light decided to just die on me. Um, so we're just gonna roll with it. I will try to play with the lighting when I'm editing to make sure that you see. But since it's nighttime, we can tolerate it. It's not even that, it's like seven o'clock at night, but it's dark. Uh, so let me show you what the mascara looks like. Excuse my under eyes. Um, the dehydration is real. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but you can see that there's like maybe like one speck of mascara, which is like nothing. I touch my eyes more than I should. And the mascara has not changed. It looks the same. So um, I have absolutely nothing negative to say. I will put it on the screen if it was easy to remove. Uh, and I actually, I'm going to go and work out right now. So 
We'll see if it resists because it's not waterproof, but just for fun, I do prefer my mascaras to not be too hard to remove and to be a little bit more water resistant. I did not go in, like it wasn't snowing today, so like I couldn't really test. Positive uh, review here. I love it. I will continue to wear it. I will wear it more before the video is up so I can leave you more comments in the comment section. But my opinion, the rave is real. The hype is real. Pick it up once you find it because it was so hard to find. So yes, uh, thumbs up from me for the Maybelline Sky High Lash Sensational Sky High Mascara. Love it. Recommend it. That's gonna be it for today's video. Thumbs up, subscribe. I will be putting more videos on the screen that I recommend you check out and I will see you in an upcoming uh, video. More mascara videos coming because I have a bunch I'm testing right now.